really briefly, let's go back to the debate that took place on Saturday with Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders and Martin O'Malley. This is one more important exchange that took place in that debate. Um, this is uh, basically they're talking about health care. <laughs> Bernie Sanders is, of course, a proponent of single payer, Medicare for all, eliminating all of the nonsense. You know, we have a health care system that, as many people know, we spend more per capita than any other major industrialized country on health care, and yet we deliver the worst results consistently. And the reality is, is that in this case, to have a marketplace of insurance companies and HMOs and barriers to delivery that don't really perform any function other than sucking money out as middlemen uh, has led to disastrous results. So the economic, the humanitarian, the obvious answer is to streamline the process, make Medicare available for everyone. There's a lot of different subtleties and ways I'm sure of how you implement it, but fundamentally we need universal national health care and we need to catch up with the rest of the industrialized world. That's what Bernie Sanders is saying. While acknowledging that Obamacare has delivered some improvements, Hillary Clinton is essentially running on Obamacare. Watch how she frames this exchange with Bernie Sanders. Let's take a look. Secretary Clinton, back in 1994, you said that momentum for a single payer system would sweep the country. That sounds Sanders-esque, uh, but you don't feel that way anymore. Why well, not? the revolution never came. <laughs> I waited and I got the scars to show for it. Um, we now have this great accomplishment known as the Affordable Care Act, and I, I don't think we should have to be defending it among Democrats. We ought to be working to improve it and prevent Republicans from both undermining it and even repealing it. I have looked at, I've looked at the legislation that Senator Sanders has proposed, and basically he does eliminate the Affordable Care Act, eliminates private insurance, eliminates Medicare, eliminates Medicaid, TRICARE, Children's Health Insurance Program, puts it all together in a big program which he then hands over to the states to administer. And I have to tell you, I would not want, if I lived in Iowa, Terry Branstead administering my health care. Uh, Democrats, we ought to proudly support the Affordable Care Act, improve it, and make it the model that we know right. it can be. Well, Fair let me Grand just say something. 30 we, seconds. Don't, we don't eliminate Medicare. We expand Medicare to all people. And we will not, under this proposal, have a situation that we have right now with the Affordable Care Act. We have states like South Carolina and many other Republican states that because of their right-wing political ideology are denying millions of people the expansion of Medicaid that we passed in the Affordable Care Act. Ultimately, we have got to say as a nation, Secretary Clinton, is health care a right of all people or is it not? I believe it is. So uh, Bernie Sanders is exactly right that fundamentally this is a right along with housing, along with many other things that you cannot reasonably say people have a legitimate shot at life with, frankly. That's the point, fundamentally, of these programs. But the argument she's making is incredibly disingenuous. She's saying basically like, oh, well, you're getting rid of all of these programs like child health care and this and that and Medicare even. When he's saying actually precisely the opposite, he's saying, no, we need to stop having a piecemeal system that works for some people, doesn't work for others, spends resources inefficiently, has misaligned priorities, and has failed consistently to deliver for many Americans, including ones that do have health insurance. That's what he's saying. So instead of acknowledging the reality, he's saying, look, make it all one system that works. And then, of course, there's going to be different aspects of state dis discretion. She then goes and loops and says, well, the governor of Iowa, who uh, is a Republican, very, very right wing Republican, I don't want Terry Branstead administering my health care. This is sort of the parallel track to the cheap line about paying for Donald Trump's kids college tuition. It's the same thing. It's 
very calc uh, calculated. It's going to get an applause at a Democratic audience in Iowa, and it's going to completely obfuscate the point, which is that as long as we're playing this game with insurance companies, with HMOs, with parasitic middlemen, there is going to be a lower quality of delivery for most people. We're going to continue to have worse outcomes, and we're going to continue to have misaligned priorities. The only way to fundamentally solve this problem is to do what Bernie Sanders is doing. And I don't know what revolution she expected to happen in the early 90s either. I mean, look, Hillary Clinton has done some good work on health care. And if Clinton had passed his health care bill, America would be in better shape. She was a major part of designing that. But that wasn't a universal national single payer proposal either. It was probably a bit to the left of Obamacare, but it was not a single-payer proposal. So, and in fact, it was similar in the sense that it was a very convoluted hybrid proposal, which is difficult to sell to the American people and is easily demagogued. Bernie Sanders is just doing the simple, straightforward proposal. Make it a single-payer system, give everybody easy, direct access to health care, and any legitimate progressive Democrat should support that unreservedly. It's absolutely obvious.